A traffic alert for drivers in Houston and South Bibb County. Starting at 7 o'clock tonight, crews will be moving a plane from Central Georgia Technical College to Middle Georgia Regional Airport. The route includes Cohen Walker Drive, Houston Lake Road, Georgia 96 and Georgia 247. They ask all drivers to avoid the area and to expect heavy traffic delays due to the slow moving aircraft. Some Vegas making business owners agree applying for their yearly business license can be a royal pain, but the county says they want to make the process easier and faster. Epicosaurus talked to business owners to see if the county's plan would be a good idea. About probably the best food, we make it fresh every day. James Roundtree owns Polly's La Mesa. He's been running the restaurant for 30 years. Every year he has to fill out these forms to renew his business license. Recently, he says it's been a pain. Seemed like it took forever because you you take one thing down there and they'd ask you for something else and uh, you'd call down there and they'd say to send you over to. County Manager Keith Moffitt says they've heard the complaints. They have an idea to make the process easier on business owners. Uh, for years, we, this community has talked about having a one-stop shop where if someone wanted to go into business, they could just go to one facility and every entity that would be a part of that would be there. County commissioners approved of an RFQ or a request for quotation to see if the tax commissioner's office could take that responsibility. Currently, they have an outside company who runs the show, but if the tax commissioner's office takes over, the county could also collect that revenue. The overall takeaway is to make sure that we are good stewards of the taxpayer's dollar. That means how we spend them and how we collect them. Roundtree says he's glad the county is willing to talk about the changes. Normally, if the county, the in-house people do it, they're more aware and are more efficient than forming it out to somebody else. He hopes the higher efficiency means fewer paperwork headaches. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Keith Moffat says for years he's been trying to look for ways to make the county run more efficiently. He says they'd like to make the process digital so you don't even have to mail in forms.